Evelyn from Yenantan Alpaca and do you see these fuzz balls? I don't like them. And if you don't like fuzz balls either, I have really good news for you. Peeling occurs naturally to old woolen fibers, except for alpaca wool. Alpaca wool is very, very unlikely to peel. In order to understand why alpaca wool doesn't peel, it is important to understand why other garments do peel. Old wool fibers are made out of different strands of hair or fiber. They're put together, twisted, and then turned into yarn. In every woolen garment, you can, if you would look at it, and if you would really go for it, you can still see those uh, individual fibers. And when you're wearing a garment or when you're using it, there is friction. And when there is friction, those little hairs and little fibers are starting to break a little bit. And when they break, they start to stick out and they break free from their, from their thread. And then they start connecting with other parts of the yarn. And then slowly but surely they start to form together and to interlock with other parts of the fiber that they shouldn't interlock with. And that is how pilling happens. Now, the reason why this doesn't happen to alpaca wool is, well, there's three. And the first reason is because alpaca wool has a much longer fiber than many other wool fibers. Uh, one of the reasons for this is that alpaca is only shorn once a year to give the, the animal enough time to grow its fur. And the average length for alpaca wool is between 6 and 7 centimeters. And this is much longer than regular wool, for example. Now, why does the longer fiber uh, prevent pilling? Well, basically because it is just a lot stronger and the fibers are better interlocked in their thread, in their yarn. And this means that there's just little, a lot less opportunity for them to break free. So long fiber, second reason is a strong fiber. Alpaca wool is known to be really, really strong. And because of this, it is very unlikely that it becomes brittle and that it breaks. While it can still happen, there's just a lot less opportunity for it. So. The strong fiber will stay in place and it will not break free from its, from its threat and it will just stay where it is without peeling. The third reason is because it is a silky fiber. This means that the alpaca fiber is a lot smoother than the other fibers. So those individual hairs, they all have little scales on them and this is on a microscopic level. So where normal wool or any other type of wool, they have you know, they have their, their fiber with their scales. And then if you compare those to alpaca wool, um, you will see that the alpaca wool and fibers have so much smaller scales. And this helps uh, the fiber to be just a lot smoother. And because they're smoother, there is less friction because they just, you know, slide together a little better. And thanks to this, less pilling. Now, alpaca wool is very, very, very unlikely to start pilling. However, there is a tiny, tiny, tiny little chance that it does happen. And luckily there are things you can do to avoid that. So first of all, just don't wash your woolen items. It's really not necessary. They're all odor resistant, they're stain resistant, they're super breathable, so they will stay fresh naturally. And there's actually not really any need to wash an alpaca woolen garment. So by not washing your garments, you will keep them um, look better for a longer period of time and you can prevent the friction that can cause the pilling. Tip number two, wash your alpaca woolen garments by hand. So if you do decide to wash an alpaca woolen garment, do not put it in the washing machine ever. Not on the hand wash program, just don't do it. If you're gonna wash an alpaca woolen item, do it by hand, with your hands, okay? You can just put the garment in a tub of water and let it sit there. No rubbing, no wringing, no twisting, no agitation, no friction, no pilling. Another way to prevent alpaca woolen garments from pilling is by just being a little careful with, uh, with the wetter. While alpaca woolen garments are super water resistant, when they get wet, then that makes them bigger, and that of course causes more opportunity for friction. And then when there's friction, there is potentially pilling. So if you do not need to go outside in a blasting storm, don't do it. And then tip number four, um, be careful with friction. <laughs> this um, is obviously more and more created in places like under the armpits or uh, at the end of the sleeves, for example, or on your shoulders if you're wearing a backpack or, you know, common sense. If, there's, if there is a movement that is repeatedly repeated, then 
there is obviously more chances for friction. When friction does occur, there is uh, luckily a couple of things that you can do. One of those things is, one of the ways to get rid of pills is by using this, a good old razor. And if you carefully, really, really carefully move the razor um, uh, alongside the pill, you can get it off. And I do warn you, be really, really careful because sometimes, or with a very sharp razor, you can, you can destroy your garment and that would be such a pity. The other way to get rid of pills is with like special machines that like depill your garments. And while they might work, I personally like to stick with the razor blade because it's a lot cheaper and it works fine as long as you're careful. Now, one of the things that you don't want to do is using this. Never, ever, ever cut your pills off. By using scissors to cut off your pills, it's so much more likely that you're gonna ruin your garment or at least ruin some fibers that are still intact and that are not really bound to, to pale. So just don't do it, just, just don't. And then the other thing you should never do is pull them out. I know it is very tempting because I'm looking at them and I'm like, I wanna pull you. Um, just don't do it, same thing. You can just pull out more good hairs as well and that would be a pity. Another important thing when it comes to uh, preventing pilling is by hitting the like button. Every time you hit the like button, one of your pills will magically disappear. If you found this video helpful, I am sure you're going to want to watch this one in which I share much more tips and fun facts about alpaca wool. And this is it for today. Keep warm, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.